you guys did not make the 40-day sadhana. Okay, 40 days of affirmations. I asked you guys to write 40 days of affirmations. Didn't see that. Okay? I thought you said 10 affirmations. No, 10 times a day for 40 days. Oh. So 10 times a day for 40 days. So it begins November 1st. So you have until December 10th. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Now, why do we do this? Okay. Um, are you are you recording me? Mm -hmm. Okay. When it gets to ten minutes, stop it and start it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the affirmations are this. The affirmations are you have to be aware of your thinking. What are you thinking negatively? What do you always say to people? You have to become aware. What do you always say to people that you always do? Perhaps you always say to people, "I'm too fat." Your girlfriend says, oh, that dress looks cute. I know, but I need to lose 10 pounds, right? Or I, I always forget things. Somebody ever hear anybody say that? I always forget things. Or I'm not good at that. Or I can't do that. Or I've never been able to. Anything, any one of those thoughts will suffice. You're going to take one of those thoughts or phrases and we're going to change it to a positive. An affirmation is a positive statement. And what we're doing is trying to change our thoughts, our, our beliefs, and our reality. Okay? So I want you to take the thought, let's say, like, I'm too fat. You say to people, I'm too fat, I'm too fat, you're walking around. Some people even don't want to come near you, don't even realize because they don't want to hear it anymore. Right? So you're going to take that I'm too fat, you're going to say, I love my body the way it is. I love my body the way it is. I'm learning to love my body the way it is. I'm learning to love my body the way it is. I'm learning to accept my body the way it is. Any one of those is a positive way to state that. You're going to write that down, that same phrase, 10 times a day, every day. So it should say November 1st. I love, you know, um, my body is perfect the way it is. My body is perfect the way it is. My body is perfect. I'm learning to love my body. Whatever it is that you choose, it's the same phrase. Next day, it says November 2nd. Ten times, the same phrase, the same phrase. Next day, November 3rd. Same phrase, same phrase, ten times. You're going to do that for 40 days straight without, without missing a day. I don't care how drunk you are on a Sunday night or a Saturday or a Sunday morning or whatever, you party, whatever, you're out of town, you take that notebook with you and you do it. It's only 10 sentences. It's for your own good. It's to create a good habit because it takes 40 days to create a good habit and one day to create a bad habit. Right? Let me give you an example. How many of you guys know somebody that used to go to the gym all the time, all the time, all the time, and then all of a sudden something happened and they never go to the gym anymore, right? I'll tell you that something. It was one lazy day. One lazy day, they said, oh, it's too cold. And then the next day, oh, I'll start next week. And then the next day, it was, oh, maybe in a couple of weeks. Oh, no, next month. And then the month never came. Because it only takes one day of breaking the consistency to create a bad habit. Okay? So we want to replace and affirm the positive. Okay? So on Wednesday when I see you, I'm going to point at you and you guys are going to tell me what your affirmations are. Now, if you're not sure what your affirmation should be, you email me and say, Professor, this is what I'm thinking. This is the situation. Can you help me with an affirmation? And I will be more than happy to give you some statements that are short, sweet, and to the point. Right? Because you need to do that. Right? Let me give you an example of the affirmation that I used. I used, I used to think that I was, I used to say, I'm, I can't, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at learning. At the age of 18, I decided, after running into my very first guru, I decided, nope. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to beat myself up negatively anymore. I'm not going to do the tail enders. I'm not going to do anything else, right? 
So I created an affirmation. My affirmation is I'm creative, successful, and intelligent. Five years later, somebody was asked to describe me, and they used the exact same words. She's creative, intelligent, and successful. Because I began to believe it, because I began to live it, because it became my reality, I am the essence of creativity, of intelligence, and successful. Right? You guys all know that I was gone for the yoga retreat this last week, and it was very interesting because... Um, I was um, organizing, helping to, or, I mean, organizing the, the movement of props and everything for all the peeps. And um, somebody was asking who I was. And they said, oh, you know her. And, and I guess the other person, I walked in in the middle of it, so I don't know the, pro the previous conversation or how it led to whatever. But when I walked in, I heard this person explaining to that other person, yeah, you know her. She's the one. She's really creative. She's intelligent. She's successful. She's really nice. And, and it was interesting that I heard those three words again. Those three adjectives that at the age of 18 I chose to be my affirmation were once again used to describe me. Okay? So we, we, need to, we need to be careful what we do with ourselves, right? What we talk to ourselves because people will, you know her. If you keep saying I'm fat, you know her. She's the fat one. <laughs> but we don't even realize that that's what happens. We, that's what we do. That we describe ourselves. We paint the essence. We live the essence. We exude the essence of that. So that's why I want you to do the affirmations. Okay. So think about something that you do to yourself, or that you say to yourself, or think, or listen. Begin to listen. What do you tell people? If, if somebody says to you, you can do this, oh, I don't think so, I can't do that, I can't do this, change it, right? Like um, my, my previous class on the, on the campus right now, one lady says, I'm always forgetting things. Okay, so here's my affirmation, she says. I never forget anything. I said, no, that's not an affirmation because the brain does not register the word never. It only registers the word forget. So you will continue to forget. So she says, well, what do I say? And I said, I'm, I have a good memory and I remember everything. Right? Didn't I just say the same thing? I have a good memory. I remember everything. I never forget anything. Do you see the difference? One's a positive point of view and one's a negative point of view. But we continuously live in this negativity. And then we think, well, I, I talk to myself positive. I say I'm never going to get sick. I'm never going to get, you know. People that tell me they're never going to get sick are the ones that are ill all the time. I always say I'm very healthy. I'm always healthy. I thank God and I'm healthy and I, I'm always healthy. And people, then the other day I walked into the gym. I teach a 545 in the morning class in the and this girl was sneezing, she had all kinds of stuff, and she looked at me, she goes, Marty, you're always so healthy. And I said, mm -hmm. see, I say it to myself, I think it, I live it, I become it, right? And then other people are going to pick up on it. So you have to be careful, because that's a tricky part. So if you have a question, send me an email, right? Any questions on the affirmations? Mm -hmm. Yes? No, I was going to say, um, what if you get, like, for example, you could have some little girls to, to make, like, a little poster and have it repeated with me every morning before you it would, school? My daughter has been doing affirmations since she was three. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it would be really good for them. Mm -hmm. And then, and be careful because you learn a lot from your children. They repeat what you say. Listen to them. One of the, one time, um, I, you know, there was a lot of, you know, I'm not going to say that I was that I'm not human. My humanness shows a lot, right? I'm not perfect, guys. I work on this every day, just like you guys do. I'm just at a different level, and the progression is the same. But I remember when um, my kids were very little, two years old, and um, my daughter was like this little chatterbox, and she was with some kids, and then um, they were, and I was um, taking her to the play group, and they were in the play group, and I just wanted to kind of hang around and see what they're doing. And um, and I heard my daughter say, 
something they were talking about horses and stuff. Oh, my 